hey guys welcome back to my channel i trust that you're well and keeping safe if you are new a very very warm welcome to you thank you so much for clicking on my video please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you never miss another video from me and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the support i really really do appreciate it so in today's video, I want to talk about how you can start a YouTube channel. So all the things that you should do before you start your channel and actually how you can set up your YouTube channel. It's never too late to start a YouTube channel, guys. So don't think that ugh, it's too late. You can even start right now. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to choose a topic for your channel. So what it is that you are passionate about, what it is that you would like to share with your subscribers. If you're not sure what it is that you'd like to focus on on your YouTube channel, do check out my video that I shared a couple of weeks ago about 32 different YouTube channel ideas that you can start or you can actually follow different YouTubers that you really enjoy and see if you can't get an idea from their content or what it is that they do on their YouTube channels. The second thing that you need to do is determine who will your subscribers be and what value it is that you will bring to their life. So is it something that will be educational for them? Is it something that will be personal um, development for them? Or is it just for fun? What value are you giving to your people? And should you be able to determine and answer those questions, then it will also help you be consistent and motivate you to put content out there for your subscribers. And the third thing that you should do is to brainstorm some video ideas. Anything between 50 and 100 different video ideas. This will help you to actually start your YouTube channel and not run out of different video ideas that you can create. And this will actually also help you then be consistent in your uploading of your YouTube videos and just in the creation process at large. The fourth thing that you should do is to get your equipment in order. So if you're using your cell phone, make sure that your cell phone camera is the best. You can use your iPhone, you can use your Huawei. It is all dependent on what um, type of phone you have. But guys, when you're starting off, you do not necessarily need a expensive camera. You can use your phone if your phone has a good quality camera. And obviously, you can do a makeshift set for yourself at home. You can you have a makeshift tripod if you can't afford a tripod. Use what you have. You do not necessarily need to go out there and buy equipment. But obviously, prepare all your different things so that when you do start creating your videos, you literally set up, sit down, and do it all. Whatever it is that you're going to be shooting your videos on. While you are also getting your equipment in order, it is really important to get your software in check. All the different softwares that you're going to be using to be creating your thumbnails and your um, editing software that you will need. To create your thumbnails, you can use an app called Canva. It's very popular, very easy to use, it's free, and there are a lot of templates that you can choose from. There's also another one called PicMonkey. It's also very nice, and they're both downloadable on your phone. Editing apps that you can look into, there is iMovie, which comes with Apple devices. It's easy to use and it's a bonus, it's free. So you don't have to pay anything for it. And then there is a Splice, which has in-app purchases. And also the ones that I'm going to be showing you all also have in-app purchases. So the issue with these is that there will always be a watermark when you're editing your videos and you actually import them. So you want to look at what different payment plans that they have and which one is most suitable for you in terms of affordability. So there's monthly, there's yearly plans. Usually the annual plans always amount to being cheaper than the monthly payment plans. So you can look into that, see which one you can afford. And if you are using a device other than an Apple, I am sure that there might be an editing app that is that comes with your phone. So check out that as well. Could possibly be free and you then don't obviously have to spend money on buying a certain app. But obviously, if you want to upgrade and have a better software, go for it. Number five, you need to decide on a filming and an uploading schedule. So you need to decide when it is that you'll be uploading on your YouTube channel and obviously give yourself time to actually film your videos, edit them and upload them in a timely manner. So you can obviously then stay consistent 
setting an upload schedule will actually help your subscribers really grasp the idea and know when you are uploading content so if you choose a wednesday for instance then they know that every single wednesday ati is uploading and i need to stay glued onto my youtube channel because she will upload wednesday six o'clock i'm there and number six we're gonna go ahead and go create the youtube channel using our phones make sure that you have a gmail account and then log on to your youtube then once you're there click on the round icon on the top right with your initial on and then say your channel you'll have a pop-up that shows you your first name and second name if you're happy with that you can create channel or you can change it as you wish once that is done then you will obviously appear onto your channel and you can see there's an option to create a video let's go to settings we are going to click on the little tool to add our profile picture of yourself so obviously you are going to size it as you wish save and then we want to add on the description so basically your description helps viewers understand what to expect from your brand so you will introduce yourself and tell your reader what your channel is all about what will your viewer get out of following you and just binge watching your content also then add a few links such as your social media links your website if you have a website do make sure that all the links that you put on there you start with the http link so that it can be clickable okay keep it casual how would you describe your channel basically to a friend keep it conversational and also don't forget to be brief think of your description as a delectable appetizer that just sets your tone for the main course don't say too much but also make sure that you put your point across and then just add a call to action so maybe say don't forget to subscribe or put in a link to your favorite video that then actually go and watch When you go back to your channel and click on your about tab, then your description will show. Just as you use Canva to create your thumbnails, you can also use Canva to create your YouTube channel banner. As a matter of fact, you can use Canva for all your design work for your channel. When creating a YouTube banner for yourself, you want to make sure that your name is on there, what it is that you tackle on your YouTube channel, maybe pop in there when you will be um, uploading your YouTube videos and then possibly just put there subscribe just to remind everybody again that they need to subscribe. Um, unfortunately, you cannot upload your YouTube banner on your cell phone. You do need to do it on a computer. So please do keep that in mind. when creating your youtube banner you actually also do have the option to add pictures of yourself from your device library if you wish
This is to just show you that your Canva has different types of setups depending on your device. So it's just to show you that on the previous one, all the icons were on the left hand side, but now everything is at the bottom. So don't be wary if it looks different um, each time. It may be different for everybody, but it's still the same app. The last thing that you need to do for your YouTube channel is to actually, when you are uploading your videos, rank your videos. So the first way that you can do this is actually making sure that you have accurate titles, descriptions, and tags for your video. When uploading your first video, you can click on create and then you can upload from your files. Or if you are uploading again, then you can click on the little camera next to the search icon. You want to make sure that your title describes or summarizes what your video is all about. Make sure that you add on there that you're a South African YouTuber and your name as well because those things are important when people are searching for you. Make sure that your description is a searchable description because descriptions can convey very valuable information that helps viewers find your videos in search results and understand what they'll be watching. So the first few lines, you want to describe your video and what it's all about and then use the rest of your description to add any links to your social media, your website, any affiliate links that you may have or links to any other relevant videos that you want to share. And again, don't forget to put in the HTTP prefix in front of all your web addresses to make them clickable. You also want to be able to use hashtags in your video descriptions to help viewers find your video when they search for a specific hashtag. Do not have more than 15 hashtags, otherwise YouTube will ignore all your hashtags on your video. You also want to add tags to your video. So basically tags is like taking your title of your video and just wording it differently so that when people are searching for the different wordings, they still are able to pick up your video and are able to view it. Over here as well, just try not to have a lot of tags. If your YouTube channel tackles more than one topic, you may want to create playlists for yourself and your subscribers or whoever is searching for your videos to go specifically to that playlist if that is what they are specifically looking for. And the next thing that you need to do is to make sure that your video is as interesting as possible because the more people who are attracted to your video and the more people who are watching your video, it means that the more your video will be recommended to other people to watch. And then lastly, make sure that you have a click-worthy thumbnail. Thumbnails are really, really important because basically they are a summary of what your video is all about. So make sure that you have a picture of yourself and literally about... I, I like having less than five words on my thumbnail so that it's not too cluttered and 
so that brings us to the end of our video today i really hope that it was informative and you will actually start your youtube channel right now and it will be a successful and fruitful journey for you and i'll see you in my next video bye